I'm going to show you this new portrait editing workflow that I discovered that uses Adobe Lightroom as well as Luminar Neo. If you want to check out the links to Luminar Neo, you can check the link in the description. Otherwise, let's get straight into the video. The first part of this workflow is in Adobe Lightroom and then we're going to take the image and put it into Luminar Neo. And if you wait till the end of this video, I'll show you this tool that eliminates the need for Photoshop. First off, we're going to increase exposure because this photo is really dark. You'll notice now that the sky is super bright. So to gain back that detail, we're going to lower the highlights. Next, we're going to increase the contrast a little bit as well. And we're going to boost up the vibrance a tiny bit. Next, we're going to go to the crop tool. We're going to select aspect ratio as four by five. This is what's normal for vertical Instagram photos. And usually I like to use the rule of thirds and have the subject right in the middle of this grid right here. The next part of this workflow involves me using Luminar Neo. And so once you install Luminar, you can either work within the program or you can use it as a plugin in Lightroom or Photoshop. So if I right click on this and go to edit in, you can see Luminar appears as a plugin. The first thing we're gonna do is scroll down to the bottom right and we're gonna select on face AI. Using Luminar is fast because any mask is basically done automatically using mask AI. So for example, if I just face light, it'll automatically detect the face for me. So this is useful because you can see the background is very bright, whereas there is like an overcasting shadow on her face. So we can increase the face light here. A similar feature to face light is actually relight AI, which is able to adjust the brightness of objects closer to the front of the image and further back in the image. And they basically do this by creating a depth map. And so for example, here we can adjust the entire front of the image, not just the face and we can also do the same thing with the background you can see the background can get darker if you want so here i just made the front of the image a little brighter next we're going to go over to skin and this makes removing blemishes and wrinkles a lot easier so i'm just going to increase the amount a little bit i'm also going to go to face ai and go to eyes and basically widen up the eyes eyes and portraits are arguably the most important part so you want to make sure that they stand out so in this case i'm going to make sure the iris flares all the way up and i'm also going to make sure the eye whitening is all the way up so the iris flare is basically this reflection you see so here you can see the eyes get super super white and reflective there's also an option to improve eyebrows which basically make them look a lot darker the eyebrows become a lot fuller Luminar also just released a feature called the background remover tool, which can be really helpful if you do plan to use Luminar. We already did some basic corrections, but I'll show you some cool features that Luminar has. For example, they have smart contrast, which will basically increase the contrast on specific parts of the photo, not the entire photo. Luminar uses its AI in order to find those areas that need increased contrast. So you can see as I increase it, the face contrast doesn't change too much, but everything else does. I'm going to lower the highlights here so that it's not so washed out. I'm just going to increase it slightly again because I do feel like it does need some relighting. So now I'm going to show you atmosphere, which basically allows you to add fake fog to the background. And this is typically used if your portrait is kind of flat. But here, if I increase the fog, you can see, and this combines really well with sun rays. And so you want to basically find where the sun would possibly be in her hair right here. There's like a brighter area, meaning that the sun is shining on this side of her head. So we want to place the sun sensor on whatever side that is to make it more realistic. So right here, I place this uh, point on the right side. And once you increase the amount, you can see that the sun rays appear. I'll make the sun rays sort of end near where her hair is. I'm going to lower the overall look a little bit. I want this. You can also change the sun ray length as well. So once again, her face sort of gets darker compared to the background because we just added some sun in the background. So I'm going to go back to real light and I'm going to increase the brightness near. The last creative effect I'm going to use is glow. Sometimes you'll have to use a lens filter during a shoot or you'll have to use Photoshop or you can just use this glow feature and increase it. It'll basically soften out everything and it looks like you're shooting it through some sort of glass or diffusing filter. And you can also change the type of glow as well. They're all different. For this one, I'm going to go for the Orton effect and I'm also going to have to go back to develop and adjust some of the settings like shadow as well as exposure the last effect is called enhance ai and i would use this as a final touch or to start off your edit and the reason why is because it does a little bit of everything it adds contrast brightness it's basically like a smart editing tool for you so at the very end i do like to use this so you can see what it does right here and now i'm going to show you the feature that basically eliminates the use for photoshop and that's using their layer feature so if you press on the plus button right here it has a bunch of different overlays that you can apply so i'm going to go over to light leaks and i'm going to just find one that I like. See so here, I'm going to select this one. You can also resize as well as change the blend mode as well. So very similar to Photoshop in that sense. And once you're done, you can go ahead and press apply and it'll basically take you back to Adobe Lightroom. 
that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed and want to check out other Luminar videos, you can check out this playlist right here, as well as you can subscribe right here.